What's up, guys? This is Rye. And I'm Ty. And we're from Rye Tech. Alright, guys, this is like our uh, welcome back episode. Um, haven't done one in a little bit. Um, but today we have a JVC HD full 1080p Pixio. Pixio? I don't even know. Some French Pixio. name. Pixio. Camera. Um, but yeah, we're going to see how it looks out. We got it for like 150 bucks at Walmart. So we'll see what it looks like. And it's probably. Only $150, so I'm not really expecting a lot. Well, first things first, they put it in upside down. Um, that's JVC. <laughs> um, so the first thing you get is the actual camera. Which looks... Decent, I mean it looks... Pre pretty neato, but yeah. we have yet to hold it yet. So. so you got your registration card. You have your basic user guide. Your other stuff that you don't need. And your... Uh, all your other languages. Um, so inside the box you have a lanyard for the camera that comes with you also have your audio video cables that plug into the side of your camera and then your TV so and you also have the uh, USB to mini USB so you can charge it and connect it to your computer so that's all that's in the box and there's also a uh, warranty guarantee that they it's don't know how to spell <laughs> guarantee. I hope you all know how to spell guarantee. All right, into the camera itself. Um, first glance, it looks pretty cool. If I can get it out of the damn cardboard, there we go. I can go over there. Um, it looks pretty cool. It feels like almost fake. It feels like it's like plastic. Yeah. Um, I don't really know how to describe. I do like how the microphone is up higher or at the same spot as the camera, so that when you're holding it. Unlike with the flip minos, your finger will never be over the camera or over the microphone. Yeah. Um. However, it just feels too. It feels fake. Um. Along the side here, we have a the micro USB, uh, my, uh, speaker. I'm guessing, a AV output and an HDMI. Although it didn't come with an HDMI cable like the uh, Kodiak Z18s do. Kodiak Z18s come stock with, with the, the uh, HDMI with, with the HDMI cable. So that's cool. Um. Going around the back, here's your little. It's all internal battery. Um, your SDHC card slots right here. That's really the only exciting thing down there. A uh, tripod slot. Yeah. On this side, you have a. Uh, I guess it's standard and macro switch, yeah. which is kind of that's cool. Actually, that's a new feature. That's not on the flip. <coughs> that's not that's on the flip weird. or on the Kodak. Yeah. Along the top, there's nothing. On the back, it's a matte blue finish with a two-inch LCD screen. Uh, charge lamp, power lamp, um, everything just seems to be, it, it feels like something that you buy, a, like an eight-year-old. Um, yeah, it it's, it's very plasticky, the buttons are, like, the buttons are really hard. They're, like, press. stick. They, like, they like don't they're... really, I, I just really, I, I don't know how to describe it, you describe HDMI, it. HDMI, AV, like, uh, it feels really light and cheap to me, it feels not... Like, there's a difference between feeling light and good, like the Flip Mino does, and feeling light and cheap. Like, like that's almost too light. It's almost the size of a Blackberry Pearl. Um, a little bit thicker, I believe. Yeah. And, um, it just, it's, it, I mean, it's alright. I'm sure. I mean, it records in 1080p. Yeah, so that's, that's, the, that's the main feature. Better quality than the, 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 the flips. The, the flips are all 720. So... <clears throat> We're going to bring in the uh, flip uh, Mino to see the size and the difference between the screens and stuff. So, first off, I think the uh, Mino is a little bit thicker. Um, I'm not sure, actually. Probably relatively maybe the same, the same. Except for the lens. Yeah, and the lens on the Mino sticks out. <laughs> and the screen on the JVC is about two times bigger, it seems. Yeah, that's probably the main difference. Like, the screens are... It's definitely the mean is definitely longer. Yeah, and it's taller, a bit taller. So I mean, the minnow does seem. It the, actually the minnow is heavier. Is it? Yeah, it feels heavier than this. This this one's like bigger, but this one feels he heavier. So. See, but in small camcorders, though, at least personally for me, I like having that that feeling that it's still in my pocket. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, Not yeah, like yeah. when I sit down and I go, I don't know where it is. Yeah. And also the flip has the built-in. USB. USB, unlike this, you have to have a separate cable, which is over there. Which is always a hassle if you lose yeah, it. Yeah, that's awful. Then there go your videos. Yep. So, I mean, this these are both the cameras, the both the uh, little HD cameras. So, we're going to go and charge this JVC and 
test both the uh, picture quality on the Minnow and the JVC then. Yep. And then show you the difference. So. Alright guys, so right here we have the quality tests on the Minnow HD and the JVC Pixio. Uh, on the top we have the Minnow and the bottom we have the JVC. And as you can tell, the JVC is, I think it looks a little bit better just because it's a 1080p video squished a little bit. So when we go and look at the water, it looks very clear. And the Minnow kind of, it looks like, it, it tints it I think. The Minnow definitely tints the color and we uh, are just looking at the different lighting conditions spinning around and then we go in for the zoom and the JVC can definitely zoom a lot farther than the flip minnow and uh, the quality doesn't get that bad when you zoom so we zoom back out and then we do a couple nice 360s uh, this is also the lighting conditions so you can tell that the trees like turn a darker green when we turn to them and and then we walk over to some flowers and get some close up video and I think the JVC definitely has a lot better quality the, the minnow definitely has a tint to it I don't know why but yeah so that's both the uh, qualities of both the cameras don't do that